Excellent. Well, now I'll go into SimpleSeq, which is one of the incubator companies. And if I'm yelling, it's they turn the microphone up now, so I know I'm close. So no molecule left behind. This is actually a mantra that came from a discussion between our CSO and our president. As they're looking at what's our goal, what do we want to accomplish in this, with this technology we've invented? And it's really no molecule left behind. Specifically, what we're talking about is DNA and, R it's DNA and RNA molecules. So we're looking at what is typically called the nucleotides. And when you do sequencing today, there's gaps in emissions when they do the testing. So when they talk about how deep they sequence, it's because you don't get a perfect read. So having the goal of no molecule left behind, it's a pretty lofty goal. And our, you know, we believe that, we know that with our IP, we can eliminate a lot of those gaps and a lot of the emissions. You know, we're not going to achieve the goal of no molecule left behind, but that's why we're doing more testing and continue to research and continue to work on our IP because we want to have the best product out there that makes a difference. So who is SimpleSeq? SimpleSeq was founded in 2019 and was founded by the same founders that opened Murrieta Genomics. So it's myself, Jay Goth, and Brandon Young. And what our goal was in SimpleSeq is focus on expanding and, and the use and efficiency of genomic testing. So when we look, we look at the um, frustration, Brandon Young was our CSO. He was frustrated with the high complexity and really all the, um, the sample prep process, all the problems that you ran into is a high cost, high complexity, and he came up with a better way. So with our enzymatic approach to this, what we do is we've got a core patent based on the new way that Brandon developed. So with this method, we know that we can make much different changes on the front end of the process. When we talk about the front end of the process, it's the nucleic acid extraction through library preparation. And that core patent really led us to start looking at that whole string of events. From there, we came up with four additional patents. And those four patents really build on to how to run this business and how to make the, everyone out there that does NGS testing to do it better, faster, and cheaper than they do it today. When you look at any new business, you say, what do you want to do? You want to be better, faster, and cheaper. And we used to say when I was in a former industry, well, the best way is if you can come up with two of those, you've got a winning product. So we know that with all of our IP in any of these given steps, it's going to meet two of those. It's going to be either better or faster or cheaper, at least two of those. And for the whole process, we think that we can be actually all three. We can hit a trifecta. If we look at the market, you know, right now everybody's seeing the, vol the market's been fairly volatile. The, Genomics market is a $26 billion market in 2022, and it's had compounded growth, a double digit for the previous 10 years, and it's forecasted at 15.5% compounded annual growth through 2028. We know it's a strong marketplace. And we look at activity in the marketplace. In the last 60 to 90 days, there have been over a billion dollars invested specifically in next generation sequencing businesses. So we know it's a strong place to be, and we know it's where we want to be. When we look at where we're going, we've got a strong team that's dedicated to really, and we, we think we can deliver on our promise. We added a president just recently, so I'd like to welcome and really appreciate Bill Biggs that just joined us. Bill is an excellent scientist. He's worked commercial labs, he worked research labs. He's taken products from inception through commercialization, very strong both at the C level and the lab level. Combining with Brandon Young, we have a phenomenal scientific, um, really kind of leadership within the company. And on top of that, Dr. John Spinoza brings the clinical benefits. And when you look at the combination of the business and the operations experience for myself and the other co-founder, Jay Goth, we know we've got the team that can deliver on this. So I want to thank you all very much and um, look forward to seeing you guys after this, after you eat. <laughs>